All right, welcome to another scratch ticket review. Okay, I gotta do this right. Um, all right, welcome to another scratch ticket review. This time I will be reviewing the Oracle Renewal Collection for otherwise known as the other normal last ticket we get once a month. This time I will be reviewing them with a bit more structure. Instead of reviewing every single item like I did in my last video. What am I fucking stupid? Uh, this time yeah, I will be I reviewing so. them in tiers and low tier, mid tier, and top tier. Just because I am reviewing this ticket as a whole. Which I kind of really forget most of the time when I'm doing this. Just I want to make an honorable mention to Synapse who has helped me figure out a couple things with this video format. I can't stress how much I like what they post. Their Twitter is Napsin. Go check them out. Let's go over the low tier list. First up is the Incute Innerwear. All right, I get it. So if you're gonna be wearing these, you're either gonna be able to see them or not see them at all. These, this, this yellow color in particular almost looks like a old person's pair of underwear. I'm, I'm probably pretty wrong about that, but uh, you need to do something special with these. Either you're gonna be ERPing with these, maybe. <laughs> It's kind of funny because you could just wear these. This all you That's all you'd have to wear and you could just go into a lobby and sit down and just talk like, you know, like, wh what are you looking at? What are you, what are you, you got something to say? Please stop looking at me. These would look good if they were pink. And then you've got your anime villain attire with this in Dragnar code. It's... I don't know how to feel about this one. It kind of gets in its own way. Uh, it's either you're gonna be wearing this or never wearing it. And it, uh, uh it's around what they did with the, the neck part of this. I, I mean, uh, just if you remove that, it, it, it would definitely get mid tier. And then we've got the lightly flushed and blushed cheeks. This thing kind of pisses me off just because it should be with the base set of items that you get. Like, th the fact that they make something like this scratch ticket item is, uh, is a bummer, but, right, it's a, it's a business strategy, I suppose. That's how they see a lot of these things. It's such an easy thing to make. It's literally face texture with a airbrush on it, and then they just... This is probably one of the easiest things they have ever made. Just, like, on a... Just, it's, it's, it's a... It's... Two clicks on an image, a transparent image. This should automatically be in the game. <laughs> Alright, and that cuts it off for our low tier items. Go directly right into the next step. Bum, 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 bum. Mid tier. Right on to the in medium edgy hairstyle. Wanted to make it top tier. There's nothing special about it. It's just this scrabbly rough haircut it's a good one though just because it, it works for both male and female looks which is why i put it on the medium tier on the next one is the machine wolf and mask this one is a good this is it's it's almost top tier but i didn't make it just primarily because there's not a whole lot going on it's nice that you will be able to change those two colors i'm assuming so as well what you'll be able to do with this you can make it a chest piece you can put it on your shoulders it's it's pretty flexible it's it's almost top. And the other almost top tier item is the photon crown. It does a good job of standing out on its own, but it, it, it needs a little bit more. It's great that they added another photon-like accessory just because this will fit. It's a nice item to add to your collection and use for, you know, as many purposes as you can think of. As well as just, you know, it's a fucking crown. How cool is that? Especially a photon crown. It's a very fantasy star thing. But last and not least, this one was a uh, difficult decision. It was the indirector slacks. Yes, I, I couldn't make this top tier. It's a great outfit. It's so ordinary. It's it's nothing special. And in, a, and in a way, that's where it excels, where it kind of should be, right? It's more of what you can do. It's the best mid-tier, almost slightly top tier item on this entire ticket. It's so damn ordinary but it's good and then certainly last but not least again the top tier item first up on the list is the multi-blade wings these i wanted to put these on the mid-tier list but due to how popular wing items are 
and online games and especially as as much use as you can get out of them it's in a weird way it is kind of an ordinary item that you'll see a lot of people wear but because a lot of people will be using it and like it that's why i listed this one top tier just because of how many people will probably end up using this this item and how many people like it the the, 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 the next the item is twice? cute thigh highs the say. naming on these some of these items so there's that. this thing right it's know, it's, it's the thighs. horny thing oh, right okay, it's the you. one where your character is as sexy as you could possibly make it. This item is going to be great for those players, as as well as items that already have this fit with the the game's catalog of being cute and gothic. This will get a lot of use out of items that are already out now and future items. But for people who do have female characters, this is something that I could see people ordinarily using as well. Just having a lot of mileage maybe even years down the line so if you do have a favorite look for your character that is a bit more erotic this this goes perfectly along with your collection and then last but not least again again the in lored beldia in the in laureate beldia the in lord god damn he's just like fucking Pokemon names or some shit. There's no proper enunciation on these, so I'm just gonna have to go with what I think it's supposed to sound like. The In Laureate Beldia. Sure, I, I'm gonna say that's what it's called. This is basically a cosmetic item that is a combination of being classical, cute, and sexy at the same time, and pushing the limits in between PG-13 and M-rated, primarily just because of how much leg is being shown off. But seeing this being used on the field when you're doing all of these cool anime combos and using your swords and guns and twists around and doing all this acrobatic crap it's almost like a uniform maids outfit as a character designed outfit this this is good this this stands up on its own and really you don't even have to add much on to it if you didn't want to maybe a head accessory but that's why this item is top tier on my list especially the black one i mean you look at this and you think near automata it's it's almost like it's a alternate version of that outfit in a weird way very happy for female players that they added this my review of this ticket oh, can i put this uh, i i give this ticket a c plus yeah i guess i'm gonna start doing using letter c plus it was a good ticket but uh nothing extraordinary Okay, if you like the video you're gonna subscribe and like and need that stupid little fucking bell anyways i don't know why i would have to how does the how does the algorithm know that I tell you that in the video anyways? It's annoying when people tell you to like and subscribe their stuff, right? Just because you're gonna do it anyway.